Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. That's the only way you can help me promote my channel and you are contributing to keep me going, refreshed and inspired. And if if you like my videos, if these videos are important to your studies, please don't forget to subscribe. By the force method, determine all the support reactions. EI is constant. So let's solve this by double integration. First, we remove, let's make B and C as the supports to be removed so that we can analyze the corresponding deflections at we can compute the corresponding deflections at B and C by the double integration method. So this is now the primary structure with the supports at B and C removed. And by statics, we can compute the reactions at A and at D. So you have to verify that this is the reaction at A by summing up moments about D, 3 to 60 over 19. So that's a simple job from statics remember this is structural theory so not all the time i need to present even the calculations of the reactions when the beam becomes determinate and simple so let's call that rd but that's not needed anymore so we extend the load so that we can formulate the differential equation of the elastic curve for this uh, determinate beam by the double integration method. So that's our x. Therefore, EIY double prime is 3 to 60 over 19x minus 40 times quant minus, oh, sorry, plus this load uh, 30 times x minus 13 moment arm x minus 13 over 2. That's why you have plus 15x minus 13 square. Then minus 40 times x minus 2 then moment of this uniform load minus 15 x minus 5 square then minus 60 x minus 5 13 16 60 times x minus 16 integrating once eiy prime equals 1 630 over 19 x square plus 5x minus 13 square minus 20x minus 2 square minus 3 minus 5x minus 5 cube minus 30x minus 16 square plus c sub 1. There is c sub 1, but there is no c sub 2 at a. So aiy equals 1630 over 57x cube plus 5 fourths x minus 13 to the fourth minus 20 over 3x minus 2 cube minus 5 fourths quantity x minus 5 to the fourth minus 10 quantity x minus 16 cubed plus e sub 1 x. Then let's have the boundary condition when x is 19 so that we can solve for c sub 1. So 0 equals 16 of 30 over 57 19 cubed plus 5 fourths 6 to the fourth minus 20 over 3 17 cubed minus 5 fourths 4 to the 4th minus 10 3 cubed plus c sub 1 times 19. So from here we can solve c sub 1 equal to negative 116720 over 19. So we can also solve delta b by setting x5 into this equation. So ei delta b equals 1630 over 57 5 cubed. This is ignored minus 20 over 3, 3 cubed, 0, ignored, then plus c sub 1, which is negative 116720 over 19 times 5. So delta b, therefore, equals negative 273 to 1.228 over ei. Delta c, x is 13. So ei delta c equals 1630 over 57. 13 cube minus uh, 20 over 3, 11 cube minus 5 fourths, 6 to the 8 to the fourth, then minus 11, 
six seven twenty over nineteen times thirteen. So delta C equals negative three one zero two seven point eight nine five over EI. Next we apply uh, unit upward load at B in the beam. So from here we can solve the reaction at A which is equal to 14 over 19 summation moment about D. So we expect this is downward because the load is upward. So reaction times 19 equals 1 times 14. That's why the reaction here is 14 over 19. So at D it should be 5 over 19. So by double integration again, let's solve for FBB and FCB due to this unit upward load. The equation is EI y double prime is negative 14 over 19 times x plus 1 times quantity x minus 5 at that section. So integrating EI y prime equals negative 7 over 19 x squared plus 1 half quantity x minus 5 squared plus c sub 3. There is c sub 3 but there is no c sub 4 because a is a support. EI y equals uh, negative 7 or 57 x cubed plus 1 6 x minus 5 cubed plus c sub 3 x then when when x is uh, 19 y is 0 so negative 17 over 57 19 cubed plus 1 over 6 uh, x 1 over 6, 14 cubed plus C sub 3 times 19. So C sub 3 is 3, 8, 5 over 19. So EI FBB equals negative 7 over 57, 5 cubed into this equation plus 3, 8, 5 over 19 times 5. So FBB is equal to 4,900 over 57 EI. Likewise, let's solve let's apply a unit upward load at, uh, let's solve for FCB, X is 13, so negative 57 over 9, over negative 7 of 57 13 cube into this equation plus 1, 6 uh, 8 cube 13 minus 5 is 8 then plus 3, 8, 5 over 19 times 13 so FCB equals 1,500 over 19 EI so we can now formulate the first equation. So this is for the second part. We apply unit upward load at C to solve for FBC and FCC. FBC is expected to be equal to FCB. So the reaction here, which is downward, is 1 times 6 divided by 19. So 6 over 19 as shown. So here it should be uh, 13 over 19. So that's it. In this sl slide, we continue this and then. So take note that these were the results from the preceding slides, and take note that the differential equation for this beam with an upward load at C is EI Y double prime equals negative 6 over 19 times X then plus 1 times quantity X minus 13 as shown in the figure. So let's integrate this. EI Y prime equals negative 3 over 19 X square plus 1 half X minus 13 square plus C sub 5 integrate again so EIY equals negative 1 over 19 x cubed plus 1 over 6 quantity x minus 13 cubed plus c sub 5 x there is no c sub 6 again because it is a support then we evaluate c sub 5 by setting x equals 19 so 0 equals negative 1 over 19 19 cubed plus 1 over 6 times 6 cubed plus c sub 5 times 19 solving for c sub 5 c sub 5 is 3 to 5 over 19. Then we can now evaluate FCC by setting x 13. So EIF 
sorry, FBC, which is expected to be equal to FCB, supposedly, you, you may not evaluate this anymore because by principle, this is equal to FCB, which is 1,500 over 19 also. So let's just verify it here. And for future calculations, remember the Maxwell's law on reciprocal uh, deflection that FBC equals FCB. In general, FMN equals FNM. So when X is 13, so EI FCC equals negative 1 over 19, 13 cubed plus C sub 5 times 13 plus 3 to 5 over 19 times 13. So FCC is equal to 2028 over 19 EI. Let's now establish the compatibility equation that is FBBRB plus FCBRC plus delta B equals 0 or equals delta B positive when transposed to the right. Then the second equation is FCB. RB, which is 1,500 over 19, RB plus FCC, R sub C equals deflection transpose to the right, so 31027.895. Solving these two equations simultaneously, we get RB equals 158.553 kilonewtons, R sub C equals 173.422 kilonewtons, then RA and RD can be solved by statics. So applying the reactions, these are the reactions. Then we sum up moment about D to solve for RA. So R sub A times 19 plus 158.553 times 14 plus 173.422 times 6 equals 40 times 17 plus 30 times 8 times 10 plus 60 times 3. So, so R sub A is negative 0 0.01442 kilonewtons. Likewise, summation moment A equals 0. RD times 19 plus 158.553 times 5 plus 173.422 times 13 equals 40 times 2 plus 30 times 8 times 9 plus 60 times 16. So R sub D is equal to 8.039 kilonewtons. So that's it for this uh, problem.